Hey guys, and welcome back to Contra 3 The Alien Wars. This is the end of the last stage, which I edited wrong. Oops. But now we are on stage 4. Stage 4 being what I think is pretty much the most exciting stage there is because there's just so much versatility. I mean, the last stage had a lot of versatility, but you weren't on a motorcycle jumping from flying ninja aliens that also have some sort of a uh, motorcycle, but then they like to fly backwards, or you're just going way too fast for them, that's probably what it is. But, uh, I don't know, this one's just, it has a lot of versatility and I just really enjoy it, but it's also pretty simple. <laughs> at least this part is, um, you know, continuous people are coming at you and they will keep coming until you kill that green missile shooting thing at the bottom, so... You know, agency, blah blah blah, I'm always, I'm always a big advocate for the Heat Seeker and the Crush. You can pretty much never go wrong with Heat Seeker or Crush. And there are a few occasions where other weapons will be better, and then they give you those weapons, so it's not like you will ever be without them. This game, it wants you to win. It, it does and does not want you to win. It wants you to die a lot, but in the end it wants you to win. So for example, they give you H here, which is good, but then they give you Fire, which is even better. Because I just feel like killing these are a lot faster because if you don't kill them fast enough they will shoot at you and having three of them out is just ridiculous. Now this weird wiggly caterpillar thing is ridiculous. I don't know how I never get hit but I never get hit. It's weird. I It, it dances and it's just, I, I don't know, the enemies here are confusing sometimes. And then we are back to the uh, cow tits with the lasers. Yeah. And, uh, that's about it. And then we get laser. So, oh, and then the big cow tit tries to kill us. That one used to get me all the time, but if you just kind of, like, tease it, it'll only shoot once you get close enough to it. So if you, like, back up and then move forward, you'll be fine. Whatever. This guy, me and my cousin, would call Michael Jackson. Um, he has this move where it, it looks like he's moonwalking. Actually, it doesn't at all look like he's moonwalking, but we still call him Michael Jackson. And he doesn't, he doesn't even do it here, so I can't. I can't legitimate, legitimize my statement. You'll just have to believe me on this, whatever. But he's pretty simple. He'll pretty much never touch you. It'll always look like he's getting close, like he, like just then. But he'll never get that close. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then here we are going up to the sky. This is what I'm talk talking about when I when I say there's so much versatility. It's like. In the other stages, there was just a lot of walking and shooting. It's just walk and shoot, and, you know, maybe you're jumping, maybe you're climbing. Um, I'm not saying there's no versatility in those stages. It's just this one. Wow, I killed him real quick. <laughs> that took about two seconds. I'm just saying this one's, this stage is totally different because you're on a motorcycle, which there is no other motorcycle in any other stage, and then you're up in the air like this. And there is one other stage that has you hanging on to a helicopter, but not like this, so. And I, I don't think I really spoiled that much for you. Anyway, this part is, well, it's on hard, so obviously it's going to be more difficult than the other ones, but it's mostly because of the weird things that look like fingers on the edges. They don't shoot things except for on hard difficulty, and it's just difficult kind of making sure that you don't get hit by those. And then you've got these weird red things that just spout out for no damn reason. It's just like, what the heck? Stop it. So. But we kill it. We kill the... Eventually, we, there we go. We kill it. And now we can finally reach um, that red eyeball looking thing. And then, of course, there are new things. And these, they're simple. They, they come at you. They'll, like, try to get on the direct missile that you're on, which I don't know where these missiles are coming from, because that helicopter we were on only had one missile, and then all of a sudden, four missiles at a time are coming, and they just constantly come. Why aren't we winning this war? Why does it have to be one man? I don't, I don't understand. Apparently, 10,000 missiles just can't defeat it, but me and this on-fire helicopter can't, I don't know, whatever. But we beat it. Me and my muscles. I will see you guys next time.